Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I had a thought about death cults, what I call um, cults that kill uh, on my website. Um, in India, uh, they venerate three aspects of God, the Trimurti. Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the preserver, and Shiva is the destroyer. There are people in India who are outlaws and serial killers. My feeling is, in India, they, they feel that the best thing for everyone all people of all occupations and all dispositions is to believe in God and remember God and that this will help them towards um, union with God in the end. I feel that is why death cults worshiping Lord Shiva have become socially acceptable in India there has to be a place for everyone to find God. And people who, who kill for a living, who assassinate others or who are highway robbers and murderers, people who lure um, women into their homes under the notion that they're married to them and then murder them for their wealth. Uh, there are quite a few people like that in India people who mercilessly kill in the name of Lord Shiva and worship Lord Shiva and belong to a death cult or what I call here in the United States cults that kill. So, so I feel that the idea behind worshiping Lord Shiva is to introduce even the most um, recidivist, uh, unredeemable uh, criminals to the notion of worshiping God. That's what I think. This is not, I feel, the most rewarding relationship to God or the one that will get a person the most kudos in this lifetime or the most happiness. But it is one aspect that some people choose, not a very popular aspect, I feel because the work of destruction takes only a moment. The snuffing of a life takes only a moment. And all the rest of the time, the work of Lord Vishnu and of Lord Brahma take place, you see? So, so for the ongoing aspects of life, the best part of life has to do with creation and preservation of life and honoring of other people. And blessing of other other beings for their own happiness. So that's my feeling about death cults rising in India and coming to the United States under the uh, shield of neo-Hinduism. Now there are many neo-Hindus who worship Lord Brahma or Lord Vishnu or other aspects of God, such as Lord Krishna, Krishna and Radha. There are many, many aspects of Hinduism, and none of these has to do with killing cults. I'd like to make that clear. And in fact, in every religion we find in the world today, there are aspects to do with uh, the dark and aspects to do with the light. And it's our job as light workers to choose which of those aspects we will align with and which we will not. Keeping in mind all the time that God does destroy, God does create, and God does preserve. God is all. God is everything. If we light workers want to preserve our own lives, I feel, we have to stay away from death cults. They think it, they dream it, they eat it, and they do it. And we don't want to be part of that, that's for sure. Our job is bringing in of the light, 
We can expect them to be around though because as the light comes in, as night follows day, the, the darkness gathers around the light worker temporarily and then disperses as the solar winds and the uh, CMEs spread out over Earth and harmonize with all of the energies there already. So it's temporary, but it's important to stay alive. We have to steer clear of death cults and cults that kill. God bless you all and keep you safe on this day of the full moon, what they call the worm moon. <laughs> Take care and happiest of spring days and changes in the human body that will lead to ever greater uh, happiness for all human beings on earth.